Hi there guys, I'm Chris Bowden and welcome to The Geek Group. We are here today at the Grand River where I am keeping my promise. Um, as I mentioned in a video a while back, yes, I can't swim. I grew up in Michigan, I can't swim. And I made an offhand crack about if anybody donates $250, if we get a single donation to $250 or better, I would march across the Grand River and face my fear and rah, rah, rah. So there's the spot out there right behind me. You can see it. I, I don't know if Corey can see it. Can you see it out there where the rocks are? That's the spot where the giant boulder used to be. And uh, it's still not there. We don't know why. So I'm going to march out there and we're going to have a look at it up close. This will be today's adventure. And yeah, and I, the water's not that deep. It's, it's actually pretty low right now and I'm very thankful for that. Uh, it looks to be about yeah, maybe knee deep. But uh, I got my rig on, we're gonna use this so that we can get audio because I'm not making Corey march out there. He's gonna be up on the bridge and I'm gonna go out there with my shoulder audio and I brought the waterproof Contour HD 1080p in its little scuba case. So yeah, we're gonna go get cold. It's gonna be so cold. It's like 70 degrees out here today and overcast and there's no sun and this is gonna suck. But I'm keeping my word going out there in the river and I'm going to suffer for you. So you guys enjoy the show and I'll see you on the other side. All right, now what, what were you saying? I was saying this is the greatest moment of my internship. Ever? Now or ever will be. Yeah, just, this is payback for oh, yeah. all the abuse. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, a promised cap, $250 donation. Yeah, it's wicked cold. Wicked cold. This is actually kind of cool though. Alright, I'm uh... It's about ankle deep. Here, I'll get a uh... I'll get the camera going. Take a minute here. Okay, camera's coming up. And my contour camera is recording. The lanyard's a little short, so I'm gonna pop it off. Hi there, guys. This is Chris Bowden, live in the Grand River, which is, it's really cold. So here you go, here's the river. I'm in it. There's a cameraman up there, there's Corey. And there's the seaweed that I'm slogging through. It's really tangly, so. Okay, water's, water's getting a little deep now. It's about knee deep. And the current is impressive. Ah! Corey's yelling something at me. A shark. He's yelling something. Current is wicked strong out here at about knee deep. Here's an idea of how fast the river moves. You can, you can see the current. I hate you, Corey. Just so you know. This is, this is, okay, we are now officially knee deep. Oh, this is so cold. The water actually got like 10 degrees colder in the past five feet, I think. Okay, now we've gone to mid thigh depth, and they're not coming for me. Not yet. Okay. I am very nearly to the rock, or where the rock would be. Out in the, it's really hard to stand up. It's really hard to stand up. Oh. Okay, I am out of the river. I am alive. I'm on the island, here's my giant rock. And now we're gonna find out that like, there's some amazingly huge wasp nest and Gila monsters out here. Oh, there are wasps. So, <laughs> well, hell, I walked all the way out there and there's a big wasp nest right over there. But I am here, there's Corey, I have made it. I mean, there's bystanders there who are probably laughing like hell. But I've made it. I am here in the middle of the river. 
Now there are these things out here that I noticed earlier and I gotta admit I'm kinda curious about. There's, a, I don't know if you can see them on camera, but there's these posts right down the middle of the river. So I'm gonna check these out. There's some stuff out here. Oh, that's deep. Okay, that's really, really most sincerely deep. Okay, I'm gonna go around to the side, actually. Because I did say I would walk all the way across the river, and I will, but I'm going to dawdle a bit in the middle and check some stuff. Okay, I'm now on the other half. So I'm actually turning south and heading downstream. And uh, there's a stick out in the water here. I don't know what this is, but I'm gonna find out. It's a lot easier walking downstream. <laughs> All right, there's a stick here, and it's a, uh, looks like a ground rod. It's a metal ground rod out here. Piece of like half inch ground rod. There's another one over there, let's go check that out. So here, this is, this is your bonus. I'm actually walking farther than I would have. Oh, hey, I found something. It's, <laughs> I found a piece of scaffolding right here. I'll grab it and pick it up. There's a piece of scaffolding in the river. So if anybody needs a piece of scaffolding, it's uh, here in the Grand River, right straight out from the museum. Oh, now we're back in some current. All right, let's check the next pole. Maybe there's something there. Water is uh, mid lower leg, mid calf deep. And there's some pretty big seaweed stuff here. I don't know, some kind of grass. Right in, if you know what this grass is. All right, now these poles are perfectly in line. I think they mark the center of the river or something. All right, here we go. It's another ground rod, there's another one here. And uh, where's Corey? There's Corey. <laughs> so, they're ground rods. I think they mark the center of the river. Oh, check it out. There is a big, giant spider living on top there. You can see him. And his friend down there is another spider. Big spider, I almost reached out and grabbed that. That spider, I don't know how the hell he got there, but there was a spider living on a ground rod in the middle of the Grand River. That's pretty cool. I don't know how the hell he got there, but he's probably gonna live the rest of his days on that ground rod. All right, I'm gonna complete my trek. Oh, hey, check this out. I found a mollusk or a clam or something. I don't know. Found a shell. Let's see if I can grab it. I don't think anybody lives in it. Uh, found a shell right there in the river. Found a shell. It's probably a zebra mussel. <laughs> I don't know. Looked dead when I got there. There's a few of them around here. Oh! Um, something just occurred to me. You'll notice you can see the water's pretty shallow on that side. It's pretty deep over here. So I'm gonna walk downstream. I'm actually gonna go under the bridge to get, I gotta, welcome to Michigan. You gotta go left to go right. And really, once you're in here and you're cold, it doesn't matter at this point. You know that pneumonia kills more people than like 50,000 other things combined? Pneumonia, yeah. Right now my mom's watching this. I can, I, can, I can hear my mom in the back of my head like, you're gonna get pneumonia! You're gonna die! You're gonna get pneumonia and die! You're gonna fall and break your neck and get pneumonia! That's how my mom sounds in my head right now. Whoa, whoa, that got deep fast. All right, I uh, I have to navigate because I can't. I got stuff in my pocket, so I'm not going in anything super deep. I gotta, I gotta figure out. Okay, I think we can get under the bridge over here. I see some shallow water. Whoa, there's a really big thing in the water right there. I don't know what it was, but it kind of freaked me out a little. Really big thing. All right. I don't know what he was, but I do not want to be his friend. Hi. Hi. I hate you. I can hear, I don't. I can hear every word you're saying, and it's amazing. There are things living in the water down here, 
and I do not want to be their friend. Okay. And I got a hole in my jeans. I got a hole in my jeans, and that kind of sucks. Whoa, there's fish! Dude, there's like fish. All right. Well, now we're in some shallow water. So this isn't nearly so bad. This is cool. But I still got to get all the way across. All right, here. I'm now I'm down under the bridge. Where's Corey? Hey, Corey! What? I'm on this side now. Hi. Where, where's Corey? Where is he? I haven't seen him. Hi. How you doing? I'm over here now. Really? The water's very shallow. All right, now there's the rapids. I'm actually, see, there's maybe a hundred people that can actually say they've been in Grand Rapids. I am now in Grand Rapids, and wow, does the current get fast in a hurry, and the water gets deep, and this just got a lot more exciting. Kids, please don't die. Please don't. I'll do what I can. <laughs> but you can see the, uh, the water moves way faster over here. I am in the rapids of Grand Rapids. And now I'm going to haul ass and get across them. It's really hard to walk. I'm back in the channel now. You can see how far I've come. There's my rock back there, and I started over there. So, see, this is, this is a lot more than just walking across the river. You're getting your money's worth, because that's what I do. That's what I'm here for. I'm here to suffer for your entertainment and your education. And we've gotten to discover some cool stuff out here. We got, whoa, that's deep. That's way deep, way, way deep. Deep enough I can't see bottom. All right, doing all right. It's a very large rock, wow. All right. I'm gonna have to put the camera away for a bit because I can't stand up. I gotta use my arms to balance. So I'll be back. Kind of deep spot? Yeah, he, it's deep enough to where he has to put the camera away and balance. I can't get across. Oh. Is there a shallower spot? It's too deep. I can't I can't get across there. It's too fast, too deep. The current current over there is too much. I can't get through it. I'll die. And they'll find my ass somewhere down at Grand Haven or something. I really don't want to die that way. Alright, we got to figure out how to get across here. I can't get across there. It's too deep. Oh, okay. Can you see a spot where I can get across? It? That's that's too fast, too deep. It's It's... I'm, I'm three quarters of the way across. I got to get across this channel over here. All right, so I'm going upstream. We can't find an easy way out downstream, so I'm going upstream to try and find a way across because the river moves a lot faster like there's like a, oh sorry about that, there's like a channel down uh, down this side of the river and I got to get across that and it's really hard because once the water gets more than about mid-thigh in depth, it, uh, that's, here I'll see if I can help you guys out on that, there. Once the water gets more than about mid-thigh in depth, it's impossible to stand up. It's, it's moving really fast. Here, take a look. That's, that's what I'm up against. Okay. So, this is, this is really hard. It's quite the workout I'm getting out here. So, I'm working my way upstream and across. I can't see the bottom at this point, which sucks. 
That just got eight flavors of too deep. I'm pretty much stuck in the middle of the river. This is an unpleasant situation. All right, that just got easier. All right. Water level's a lot less right here. There's like a, a ridge in the middle, which helps. Ah! This is quite the workout. All right, it's a little shallower here. Let's see how far I can get. Whoa! And there it is, it drops right off. That's all the farther I gotta go. I'm that far out. I'm in the second half, but this half is a lot harder than the first. And the water speed picks up a lot. That's where I'm at. Oh, my mints are screwed. Woo! Water up my butt. It's kind of cold. This is really not cool. All right. I am in the heart of it now. All right, I gotta put the camera down again. I'm in the heat of it. Oh, this sucks. So amazingly bad. It's very deep. It's very wet, it's very cold, and I can barely stand up with all the current, but I'm uh, I feel like I should have a tote filled with beer bottles. Ah! Yes, this is a most unpleasant exercise. Ah. This is the worst of it so far because it I go just an inch deeper and it gets way harder. Oh wow, it got a lot easier all of a sudden. Oh wow, that's it. That's the channel. That's the, the brunt of it. All right, so here. Oh. But I made it. Here, all the way to the other side. So yeah, I just crossed all the way from over there out to the rock, way down, under the bridge, way back, and then over, and uh, here's Moose, photographer, and I think we got audio of that. I hope we did. I don't know how bad my gears messed up because everything just got soaked way deeper than I thought. I was in water up to here. Here's my water line right there, and uh, oh man, I'm tired. That sucked. So, thank you very much for your donation, and uh, I'm gonna go dry off now. We'll see you guys later, and, uh, and that's today's adventure with Duck. Oh, wow. So is that entertaining? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> did I hear $250? Huh? Did I hear yeah, we, uh, we did a thing, we teach kids about science and technology, yeah. and I made a joke in one of the videos, I made an offhand comment about the fact that I, I can't swim. I grew up in Michigan and can't swim. So I figure somebody donates 250 bucks to the Geek Group, I'll march my dumb ass across the Grand River. Turns out it's not so bad on that half. Right. But the 50 feet right here, yeah. 
Wow. And that water is moving. Oh, it's it's hot. It's everything you can do to stay standing up. <laughs> it's it's wow. Well, nice work. Well, thank you. I'd shake your hand, but I'm kind of goopy. <laughs> So, what'd you think of that? Uh, that was probably the dumbest thing I've ever seen you do. But yeah. <laughs> it was very entertaining to watch. Well, I'm glad. Say, so, that's that's your entertainment there. That's, so, how was the audio? Um, the farther out we got like, from the rock, it was kind of choppy, but otherwise, I got it. Yeah, so like way out at the rock, it was a little bad, but everything else is cool. All right, cool. Here's the, the vantage point from up here. This is. We started. We started out there at the, uh, at the point, the little observation deck. Straight across there, down all the way under the bridge, back and forth under the bridge a couple times. And you look at the wind. You see the, the sheets of wind blowing across the water. It's really it's windy as hell today. So, yeah, that was my adventure. You guys have fun. Put we'll morphine next time.